get sad, ladies and gender queers, because I'm sorry I've done this to us, me and to you. This is Dead in Bermuda, but I think that it's interesting to examine games that explore those kind of feelings. Not just fear. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, current. We're not dead in Bermuda yet. Thus far, still alive. All, all eight people are alive. But we're reaching the point where easily people could start going down a little bit. <sighs> Let's see. We can fish, too. We should get someone to fish. Some of our food reserves disappeared. I thought Bob ate them all. It's dry. It's dry as a. Calm down, Jacob. So, Bob, what do you have to say? Sorry, I was so soothing, but it felt like I was dying inside. Not like my body is used to alive for each day. I can't change over that. I understand, Bob. But do you understand that if we all want to live together in peace, we must make sacrifices? Let's say you made your mistake. Don't make another one. Yeah, thanks. I'm very disappointed at you, Robert. Very disappointed. Yeah, everyone hates Bob. Fuck Bob, man. Yeah, Bob's hunger went down a lot. Yeah, see, look. Julia's pretty bad. Oh, man, my fish didn't get cooked. Alright, so Julia gets the good one. 64, we get 73. We got... The fact that fruit is reliable makes it really good, but we do have to use fairly out of Zero percent, the fire has died. Wait, do we lose? Do I have a chance to to start the fire in the morning? <gasps> it has to be crafted at the workshop? Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 we don't have enough. Oh, fuck off, no! Oh, shit. See, 
here's where everything starts going wrong. Yeah, and Bob has to spend his punishment. Actually, how's Bob's fatigue? You know what? Bob could just sleep. At least that option's available. Fuck me. Yep, so this is where everything goes wrong. hoping that, uh, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we can check the new zone. Oh, my God. New zone. Cute animal. A cute little animal is standing in front of you alone. He hasn't noticed your presence yet, and he is eating peacefully from some of the plants on the ground. Hunt. Try to make friends. How do I make friends? Uh, you know what? Fuck. Nice. Try to make friends. You approach the little animal cautiously with some plants in hand that he seems to be already enjoying. You manage to get really close. You start petting him on the head, but suddenly he freezes, bites your hand, and runs away into the bushes. Okay. Minus one. Minus five. The end. The end. Fine. God damn it. We can't make it yet because we do not have two stones. We do not have two stones. Nope, I don't need that. We do not have two stones. So we're just fucked. To craft a new one. I can't. I can't. That's brute. That's brutal. Alright. So. Jeez. 70%. Alright. This motherfucker needs to be looking for stones. Because if we lose right now. I mean, that's just what happens, but... Let's also remember that he was a big... a big wiener. Whomever 
hope I kind of hope this is the end because like it's grueling see the the emotional attachment you get even though they all have different opinions about each other stone. Once and for all, I don't care a bit about Alejandro. Fuck him if you like, I don't care. Okay, uh, get some rest, Bethany. You deserve some. Oh god, that felt good. <laughs> they all like her less, but she, like, ah, uh, she loved it. A night without fire. I think someone's gonna have to get sick. We're gonna have to fucking chance it. God, Bob is such a fucking asshole. This always fucking happens. Alright, we're have gonna have to eat every one of them because fuck it. We have to survive till morning. As a family. Okay. God damn it. Fuck. It's making me real life sad that these virtual people are about to die. And I'm sort of the embodiment of the will, their will to survive, but also their will to ignore their needs. A night without fire is harsh. Constantly crying, starving, dangerously weak, very sick. Holy shit. Well, they're alive at least. And yeah, a night without fire basically kills you. Alejandro's fucking... Okay, everyone who's not, like, gonna die if they don't sleep, go make the fire now. Fair enough, yo. This shit suck. Like, this is a hard, hard time. Oh, what's her stat? Yeah, we gotta use items on this point. Depression and hunger. So what do we got? Chew on one of those. 10% sickness for 20% depression. I'll take it. Just making 
sure if anyone's in like a death. Death zone. Yo. We're just gonna fucking have to use them all right now. That's my thinking. Got anyone with over 20% sickness? Plus or minus, though, so it could kill you, is the thing. Some ginseng. It's not even tea, it's just juice. Come on, man. Painkiller? No, that seems like a good thing to do. How's people's injuries? Injuries pretty bad. Okay. What's this? Minus 20 to all stats. Let's do it. Okay. I think I'm so on what we need to do. We are crafting a fucking fire. And you know what? If you're not gonna die, he's gonna die. Yeah, someone. Oh no, wait. Oh no. Someone needs to be. Someone needs to be. Gathering the debris. The apps. Oh, and wood. Oh no, we have need wood to feed the fire too. Shit. Okay, never mind, Eliana. Don't, don't fish. I'm sorry. I know the fish looks pretty cool, but we're gonna gather. We're gonna gather wood instead. Focus on the wood. Holy shit! Okay. Yeah, you know it's bad. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Oh, thank fucking goodness. Oh my god. They're gonna divorce. Yeah, I would. So we have two days worth of water. That's two. Fuck. Oh shit. We could cook them.
I'll be. <laughs> when my I husband comes to work, it's not all over at home. It's very boring. So I spent most of my time at the gym with my friends. One day I decided to. It wasn't enough fun. So I started practicing various martial arts. I'm quickly bored, you know, so I must change partners regularly. Wink. Um, impressive. You're really stealthy, too. You can't hear any step from me, even in deep jungle. <laughs> Thanks to ten years of Royal Moscow Ballet. And my fit shape, of course. You're more resourceful than you look. That's good news. If only you help more at the camp. That conversation. Uh, you know, I liked it. It was endearing. All right. Well, I could not cook the fish, <clears throat> but I guess now we find out if who dies, who lives, and who dies. find out if anyone dies oh, oh my god yeah almost dead almost dead almost dead okay it's a brand new day I'm not taking any fucking chances Grill some fish. Grill some fish. Grill some fish. Grill 
Death is unavoidable. Yuri starved to death. This is sad, really. Yuri starved to death. This is sad, really. It's best to be moving on quickly, though, as we really have plenty of things to worry about if we don't want to end up this way. Looks like Julia's also dead. Alright. Ooh! Alice is dead! Sorry, Alice. Fuck, man. Well, this is who we have love. Happy birthday. Happy birthday? I don't know why I always like to say that. Oh shit, she's got 188. Oh, I think. Holy crap. Is that 93? Fuck. Unfortunately, I have to. Well, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know what? If I just watched both of my parents, my surrogate parents, starve to death, I too would eat the spoiled, the bad, the, the raw fish. On the verge of suicide. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, well, that's uh, another episode of that in the can. Thank you so much for joining me once again, ladies and gender queers. I am Mary Jane Blank. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more very sad, very depressing content as the remainder of the survivors of the crash die slowly of starvation and depression. 
uh, but also in your real life, love yourself to remember and appreciate your own life. <laughs> Later, I guess.